Martin Leitner, Head of Product Management for uh, Label and Flexible Packaging at Doors. Hi, Martin. Ciao, Lorenzo. Okay. Nice to see you at the Label Expo. So, what's new? What's new? I mean, we are here in a crowded booth in the end at Label Expo, but hello from my side also. In the background here, you will see at the moment our basically top selling products is the Tau 340 RSE, and we are showing it now the first time with the LED ink set, the new LED ink set. So we are expanding our ink range from the standard to low migration, because, which is already existing to the new LED inks, which can be used in all of our machines, so not just for the E model, but also on the high end, the RSCI. Okay, you can either retrofit the existing machine to LED? Customers can retrofit or with a new machine investment, so even, that's all even possible. Better. It's even better. It's possible. <laughs> Within a few days, we change everything and you run it safely. I think it's a next logical step also. I mean, in conventional, many customers are retrofitting now their machines already. In digital, we have now also the chemistry and technology at the level that we can run at 52, 80, 100 meters a minute with the technology. And that's really now, I think, for us the next step. You save, of course, consumables, energy, so sustainability is way better. Okay, so time to move to the next uh, uh, yeah, let's step. Walk, let's yes, walk around let's go, here let's a go. bit. Uh, okay, which one? The 510? Yeah, the, the 510. The, the big, uh, the big so, tie, no? Right. Is the, a, no, it's not a tie anymore. I mean, <laughs> we are out of the baby shoes. We are out of kindergarten, university. We are working now here because customers, you see, now in the background, it's uh, 510, the Tau 510 RSCI printing up to 100 meters a minute it's the next step of inkjet so it's not just any more short medium run we have customers printing more than 100,000 linear meters on a daily basis with the machine it's heavy working the machine here at the show it's uh, of course full equipped also with our double wide so we can run the wide at 80 meters a minute but probably even more interesting is the automation what we bring now to not just the RSCI, but all of our presses. Okay, I see there are some extra uh, modules along with the, with the inkjet engine. Yeah, that's right. So the machine, what we show here at Lame Expo, is equipped with a pre, uh, with two flexor stations, so one pre-digital, one uh, post-digital, because we have customers which run shrink, we have customers which run uh, in-mode labels, and in that case, we can then print the primer or the white over Unconventional. Okay, Martin, this is the same uh, print engine uh, that you share with Omet. Exactly. Exactly. For exactly. their a uh, hybrid uh, line. No? Exactly. I mean, okay, is, is is that part of the development? Part of, part of the approach? Are you going to strengthen the collaboration with uh, Omet or other uh, OEM we, we manufacturers? We are strengthening it heavily now with Omet. So there is now a new long-term collaboration what we defined with a joint development roadmap also because we know Durst is expert in inkjet, Omet is expert in conventional. We don't need to copy from others. No, we need just to work together. So Martin, when did you start the, the relationship with Omet exactly? Well, uh, it was already a couple of years ago, I think 2017 to 18, something like that. I mean, in the meantime, we have dozens of installations in different countries, uh, multiple installations of selected customers, and it's running very well. Okay, means that this uh, hybrid approach, hybridization, is uh, no longer a promise, is no longer a, an idea, but it's a real fact. It's a fact. And, uh, I mean, it, it's a reality. And the hybrid presses, they have their space in the market. Uh, hybrid is still a small portion of the machines what we are selling, so most of them really are standalone because when you have a lot of material changes, shorter runs, so when you need flexibility, a standalone press is the best. But when you have long runs, you know, dedicated projects, then hybrid makes more and more sense. And I think it will be a next category of presses in the end, what we see uh, on the production floors. Okay, in any case, uh Given this uh, growing uh, adoption of uh, hybrid uh, machines, uh, sometimes in combination or uh, replacing Flexo, I can imagine that you, uh, at, at Durst, uh, with your R&D, had to uh, uh, fit, fit some uh, 
very tough requirements in terms of uh, reliability, in terms of uh, productivity, in terms of um, whatever, having an affordable uh, yeah, I mean, a hybrid, running cost as well. In the end, you, your last word named it, I mean it's running costs. The goal is to automate the machines, the goal is to have the ink consumption as low as possible, to have as low as waste as possible and to, to be as fast as possible and fast now okay printing speed is important but fast in setup because machine hour has a price and if we can save there the time and the waste that's where we generate then also the, the revenue or let's say that the hidden uh, revenue streams for our customers okay so uh, if you agree i'd like to move to the uh, one of the highlights of the show yeah for you the, yeah. you're a hook high Technology. Exactly, exactly, yeah. exactly. I mean, that's something I am really proud of it because it's, uh, I have the feeling it is the next step of inkjet printing really. Um, you see here behind me uh, the logo because we have in on the Wave Expo here a, a terminal where our customers can see, you know, because in the end it's an automation feature to save time and to save waste and to automate quality and hardware wise we have a scanner system so a, a scanner bar uh, installed in the machine it's, it's an inspection system no it's different yeah it's different because an inspection system you need to teach you need to set up and it's just inspecting the Hawkeye you don't need to teach you don't need any setup and it's inspecting and correcting and, and how that's does it work do you, do you have a, I see you have a panel exactly okay. We have, we, we explain here at Lady Expo the concept, okay? Because the Hawkeye is continuously scanning the print and every label, uh, we apply a AI algorithm, which is scanning and looking for uh, bad nozzles. Bad nozzles, which maybe are there in the morning or which might appear sometime. Yeah, yeah, definitely, a single pass especially. Exactly, it can happen. And the point is that we are able while the press is running at 80 meters a minute to um, identify that nozzle, to locate it so that we say nozzle number 2523 in the color cyan has a defect. We take that information, send it to the printer, we compensate in line in real time. Okay. And that's what is unique and what makes it also different from an inspection system. It's correcting the print. Yeah, yeah, okay. So it's delivering the information to the print engine and the print engine itself, okay? Exactly. Take care of compensating the possible missing um, losses. Possible defects in okay. the end. Possible and defects. that's, the goal is really have no setup, no teaching of the system, any job. And that's what is makes it powerful. Okay, and uh, is the OK available to all? The, the product range to all the machines? To all the machines and also machines what we installed five years ago, so first generation I say now, okay. also the, these machines it can be retrofitted. Okay, so it's an option that uh, has to be installed at, at the end of the print. Uh, exactly. Uh, okay. yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay, so thank you so much Martin for uh, finding the time to see me and uh, for uh, sharing uh, some nice and uh, interesting uh, information. Of course, and Bye. now we go for a coffee. <laughs>